What's happening, YouTube? I'm Frank the Tank, and if you didn't get a chance to play the Modern Warfare 2 beta, you've came to the right place. We're going to discuss all the things you need to know right here, right now. So I actually had another video on this. It was just right after day one, my first impressions of the game, my first takes on the game. Uh, and if you want to check that one out, there's a link in the description below. But now, this is after four days of it, and some things have changed. And we'll get into it. Right into the movement. Uh, after my first take of this, I was just like, wow, it's massively slower than Warzone. You do get used to it. It is slower than Warzone. And you do feel heavy. I don't know if you've ever played Tarkov, but when you're moving around that map, you can almost feel everything that you brought into the game. That huge backpack, all that, all that, you know, equipment you have on you. You can almost feel it. it you kind of feel that way when you're moving around in COD. I honestly think just a little bit more speed would go a long way. Just a little bit more. The slide's just slow. You can't really do much out of it. It's a while before you can get right back to an ADS. Uh, just a few tweaks to that. I'm not saying as drastic as we can slide an ADS and shoot. That'd be cool. But just as simple as a quicker animation near the end so you can get back into a fight. And instead of just using it to evade evade fights you can use it aggressively dolphin diving I, honestly i found some hilarious ways to use it and, and really that's what it is you can make some pretty cool plays off of it if you get a, a little bit of luck and and you know pull it off at the right time it, it, it can't be useful i mean diving out of the way and diving this just looking at somebody diving onto a you know b point on domination is actually just hilarious to watch but there can be a few tactical uses to it i've seen some people you know completely turn on somebody with a with a dolphin dive and and uh there's definitely there's definitely some advantages of the dolphin dive i do think it's a slow mechanic just like the slide so a little bit of tweaking it, honestly though the only take is though the dolphin dive if, if you do add a few tweaks i think it can go very quickly from underpowered to overpowered just a thing to look out for the biggest takeaway from the modern warfare 2 beta though the footsteps they are incredibly loud and i think that also goes back to what i was mentioning about how you feel heavy um I think in one way is because you're hearing your footsteps that loud. They feel clunky and, and heavy as well. Um, but they are just too loud. They are too loud. Um, you know, the mini map itself, we don't have the we don't have the regular mini map where you're shooting, you see a dot on the screen, right? So there's no penalty for shooting without a suppressor in the game, but there is a penalty for running around and being aggressive in the game. So it kind of just promotes a slower play and with the with a with a high TTK in this game. ADSing and holding holding corners and holding spots is much more beneficial than running because I mean I can't tell you how many times I died you know just running around the map and then then just dying to somebody watching the kill cam and watching them standing still and just listening to footsteps like doo -doo 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 oh there he is bang dead the volume just needs turned down a little bit that's all just turn him down a little bit it'll go a long way just a little bit more the mini map like I just mentioned let's go back to the old school mini map huh let's just bring it back let's do it why not? Everybody likes it more. And the people that don't like it that way probably aren't really using the minimap. Just a take. The gunplay is still fantastic, I think. I really like it. I like the extra recoil. I love how there's a little bit more challenge to hit your shots. And uh, I don't know. It just feel, it feels really good. I like the gunplay. TTK is a little high. Slight tweak to that. And I think gunplay is in a perfect spot. There needs to be a little bit of balancing with the weapons, but... You know, outside of that, that's just simple tweaks along the way. It's a beta. That's what you expect. Um, but the gunplay was fantastic. I loved it. That's really what carried the game. I, that in the graphics. The graphics are beautiful. The maps are beautiful. I didn't have an issue with really any maps. Spawns weren't terrible. Obviously, it's Call of Duty. We're going to run into some spawn issues. Uh, but I really didn't see too many. Uh, every once in a while, I, you know, maybe kill a guy and then he would be point blank right in front of me again and just feel bad for that guy. Not really. And finally... Into Warzone, obviously we didn't get to see any of Warzone 2. We just got the multiplayer for Modern Warfare 2 uh, with this beta. However, uh, Little Birdie told me a rumor that we are going to get a little bit of a change to that. The UI and how we were buying stuff in the Warzone for what we've seen from COD next, right? Um, the little bit clunkier of a buy station, the clunkier looting process. There might be some tweaks to that coming along with loadouts and perks. If this rumor is true, those are going to be some massive, massive changes in the positive directions for Warzone 2. But outside of that, we can't really touch on it, right? I mean, I'm truly looking forward to Warzone 2, but I will always enjoy a nice little multiplayer grind, especially with the boys and the camo grinds and all that will be a good time uh, leveling weapons. Hopefully the camo grind, we heard some rumors that it's going to be a little bit, uh, some awkward challenges like we've gotten the last couple of games. I haven't seen anything about that in a couple of months, so... Hopefully there are some changes coming on that, but we obviously didn't see any of that just yet with the beta. That's everything you need to know for the Modern Warfare 2 beta. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, keep those notifications on, leave some comments, let me know what you think, and what was your take on the beta. Till next time.